there's no, no, uh, no trying needed to make the heart beat. <laughs> Just like nothing needed to make the sun rise, or the wind blow, or the trees grow. Effortlessly, just buds in spring, sprouting, flourishing, blooming forth, a flower, naturally, blossoming. And uh, we do nothing to make those things occur. We, we simply are here, open, experiencing. And the same is with our mind completely natural, no effort required, zero effort required. <laughs> so just allow everything to be as it is. Thoughts arising, flourishing, resolving, leaving no trace, like a line drawn in space. Whatever they may be, however ecstatic or horrendous, equally of the same nature, equally effortless, equally relaxed in their being. And so is the nature of our own mind, so are we. And uh, getting to know this about ourselves, recognizing the true nature of reality is an immense and profound gift. And. Um, and this is what the Balance You training provides. And um, I was reflecting this morning, I went to a party last night and um, it was really fun and uh, with some friends. And, um, and then I woke up this morning, I was just reflecting on my experience being at the party and before, before meeting the Balance You training and before doing the foundational teaching of the 12 empowerments like how parties were, like for most of my life before then, and how I sort of approached going to parties. I sort of walking into a party and basically it was like, what can I get? <laughs> how can I feel as good as possible in this situation? So it's like, scan the room, okay, who looks the most fun? Where am I gonna go? How can I, you know, also how can I be the most fun and sort of entertain people in the, in the best way? and. And, um, but really about how, how am I going to get the most positive experience out of this? And so sort of, you know, not go and hang out in the areas that I deemed to be not so fun and focus on the ones that I thought would be more fun and, and um, an approach, you know, maybe it was also like, okay, who do I fancy here? Who looks most attractive that I can kind of go and speak to and maybe they'll find me attractive and then we'll have this whole kind of attraction thing going on and that will feel really good too. And, you know, so that was the like plan and it would flow however it would flow, but it would be a constant. What I see I was always doing was like ping ponging from one thing to the other. The moment something started to feel slightly awkward and uncomfortable, I'd be like, I'd just like leave, <laughs> you know, like, of course, like when that sort of discomfort starts rising up, why stay? I mean, why stay? Why, why? That's, that's the red flag. That's the like, this is not right. Everything's going wrong. That feeling I've always put in the wrong category. So I need to depart this situation to no longer feel that because it's the, it's probably because of those people or it's probably because I kind of, uh, you know, I'm not wearing the right clothes or um, I said the wrong thing and so now I need to like fix this situation to kind of get away from this negative feeling. And, um, and then, and, you know, that, would, that was just a, a small example at parties, but that was going on throughout all of my life, this, you know, emerging into situations, then quick removal the moment things felt uncomfortable and, uh, you know, not hanging out with certain people because of that or not putting myself into certain situations where I felt the threat of that coming on in any way. That might have been at work, that might have been socially, that might have been in my family. And um, these modes of relating to my experience, which were really, I see now, just so limiting. So limiting to avoid, attempt to avoid, an entire swathe of human experience. <laughs> 
everything I'd always called negative, just through this misunderstanding about the nature of reality, through not knowing the nature of my own mind, not knowing that these thoughts, like all thoughts, arise equally, abide and resolve in the basic space of everything just as it is, leaving no trace, leaving no harm, no mark, no flaw, self-releasing naturally like mist in the air with no effort. And so participating in the 12 Empowerments teaching gave me the opportunity to see so many things about myself, so many corners I had sort of not wanted to look, you could say, you know, uncomfortable corners about how I'd been relating to myself and the world, how I'd been acting out resentments, you know, subtly, but there, harboring resentments inside about situations in life or family members or friends. And, you know, just thinking that's normal. It's normal. It's normal to have that kind of undercurrent running of feeling slightly uncomfortable. You know, this sort of lo the bar is so low <laughs> of like, I'm okay, yeah, it's okay, I just don't really like that person, but they're my friend. And just accepting these, these thoughts to be there and but also at the same time emphasizing them and making them true. And the 12 empowerments shone a bright light on all of these corners. It was like seeing myself clearly for the first time. And the skillful teaching of balanced view that isn't just about seeing ourselves clearly, but gives us a profound and powerful solution to live life, to move forward with stability, clarity, openness, skillfulness, and a platform to see what is of benefit to all, to really get to know ourselves as completely beneficial, everything about us. And um, this was a huge, huge transformation for me in participating in this training. So rather than my, all my thoughts and emotions, which we call data streams in the teaching, you know, anything we can experience, all these data streams being like little sort of dirt balls, you know, like, I don't want to look there, I don't want to look at, you know, that's not who I am. <laughs> I'm a... <laughs> I'm like an incredibly positive person. <laughs> I don't, I don't even, doesn't even come into my experience, you know. So uh, do you have any idea who I am? Yeah. <laughs> you know, that kind of arrogance about being positive. Like a complete denial. A complete denial. And then the 12 empowerments was like the wake-up call. It was like, get real. Be honest. For the first time in your life, be honest. I'd never had the opportunity to. Who was I going to be really honest with? I mean, myself. But that takes courage. It takes courage. And so what the Balance View training gives is great courage. It gives courage through a practice, a training, a trainer and a community. Courage to see ourselves clearly, to see reality as it is and to get to know ourselves there. To see the safety of being human, the safety of our mind. Nothing can harm the fundamental nature of our mind. Always open, clear, powerful essentially unaffected by any appearance that arises within it. And the nature of our mind we call open intelligence. And you can introduce yourself right now, if you stop thinking for a moment. What remains? Powerful intelligence that's open like sky. Containing all phenomena equally. Clarity, alertness, cognizance. This is open intelligence. And the thoughts come back in. We don't need to maintain stopping thinking, feelings, sensations, experiences of all kind. And open intelligence remains. Your power to know these experiences, this stuff, this phenomena, these data streams. Open intelligence is primary, it's fundamental, it's always on, it's what's constant throughout all of life. Right now, at any moment, that you can, you can choose to recognize it. And you can recognize it in short moments, short moments of open intelligence. And you can repeat them again and again until it's obviously continuous all the time. It's already the case, we just you could say, bring our attention to it in short moments. 
the true nature of all phenomena and bringing that into all areas of life and using that as our stable ground, whatever might be coming up for us. And the shift I saw for myself was this incredible shift of moving from relying on the ever-changing display of my thoughts and emotions, circumstances, because circumstances are always changing. We're living in one place and it's one way. <laughs> we come back the next season and it's different. And this is my experience too. And then we come back a season again, it's different again. The law of impermanence, we can rely on that. <laughs> and so then how we approach and move through that, taking everything as an opportunity to get to know the stability, openness, clarity, and benefit of open intelligence in every situation. And this is what has become my priority after the 12 empowerments, getting to know this, getting to know this about myself above all else. It's my highest concern, you could say. It's my campaign. <laughs> it's what I will pour everything into. I am pouring everything into, giving everything for this to be available for everybody. The importance of this, the importance to no longer be confused about the nature of our mind, no longer be duped, no longer be led down tunnels of stories and you know, suffering and discomfort and blame and victimhood. I mean, it goes on, you know, or like avoiding people, avoiding life, avoiding situations just due to these like momentary appearances of mind. It's so, it's so painful. Why, why to live like that? I know why I was living like that, because I didn't know anything else. I didn't know anything else, so now we do. Now we have a choice. Balanced View offers a powerful choice for all people. To live easefully knowing the nature of our mind. Powerfully drawing on the power of our experience, on the wisdom. So in short moments when we allow our data streams just to be as they are, what we're accessing is the wisdom that's inherent in open intelligence in every single moment. And you can, you can try it. It's like the stirring of the pond. When you stop stirring, the mud settles. The pond becomes clear. The water is clear. You see clearly. So prioritizing our practice in everything. This is what I've seen. Prioritizing open intelligence gives everything that I could wish for. It, bring, it gives the complete freedom and the peace that I wish for in every single moment. The loving warmth and openness I wish for in every single moment, not dependent on how I'm feeling that day, because that is very unreliable. <laughs> the content of my mind and the descriptions I place upon it, that is not something to rely on in order to be the type of human being I want to be in order to move through life with clarity and live for the benefit of all because that is a really shaky ground. So reflecting this morning about the party last night and seeing that change for myself, walking into the party feeling all the social awkwardness, more social awkwardness than I've ever felt in my life like, because I don't try and avoid it anymore. I allow it to be as it is. I let it rip <laughs> and finding it's thrilling. It's thrilling, vibrantly alive with the power of life, the power of benefit. That's all that's going on. And in that, able to relate with anyone, no longer scanning the room and seeing who I think looks coolest and who's going to make me feel best, because that's not the game anymore. So how can I be there available, available with these amazing human beings? and connect open-heartedly and listen openly to people rather than having my agenda of how I'm going to feel good in the next moment or how they're making me feel, you know. It's uh, the blazing open-heartedness of open intelligence is already the case. There's nothing we need to do to make it that way, like the heart beating effortlessly. All, we need, all that is needed is simply to recognise it, is to take up the education to recognise it to make that simple choice. It's like, it's like standing in one place and stepping to the side. It's that easy, taking one side step, but it takes courage and the perspective changes. Perspective changes. Everything is the same, but everything changes. And um, 
what the Balanced You Training offers is all of the support for this to come alive in our life, for us to, to directly access open intelligence in every single moment, you know, within whatever data stream it is. Those data streams, they are the beneficial power of open intelligence. They are the dynamic energy of open intelligence. So we don't need to look anywhere else. It's right there. This is it. This is it, shining brightly. <laughs>